Hey, my name is Chap Briard, and this is a 1984 Beach Bonanza 836, uh, 136 Alpha Alpha for sale. This particular plane, uh, the last annual, had a LED light put in for taxi light. It's got a boom beam, one of the one of the brightest landing lights you can get. Three blade Macaulay, 414 hours since prop overhaul on that. Uh, coming around to this side, looking at the at the engine, and then just talking about the engine compartment. We've got an IO 550B 300 horse, and uh, it's got Millennium cylinders. It's got a new alternator at the last annual, which was March 2015. New battery, bo battery box sandblasted and new battery. This has factory air. Uh, the engine compartment is spotless in this plane. So this particular Bonanza has a forward-looking infrared camera on it by Max Vision. Uh, we'll show you once we get in the cockpit how it works, but it is really awesome for flying in and out of grass strips or even runways. It picks up a heat signature so you can actually see the, the, runway, uh, the, the runway differentiates itself based on the stripes and everything else, telephone poles, you name it. So it's, it's by Max Viz and it was installed in the plane in 1997 and it works awesome. It displays on the video screen on the G500. 136 Alpha Alpha has barrel to Shannon tip tanks installed for an additional 30 gallons of fuel, so you have 104 gallons of usable fuel. You also have a gross weight increase as well. This one sports a 1,271 pound useful load. Brand new LED lights. You got LED strobes and an LED beacon on the back as well. So 136 Alpha Alpha has the standard A36 club seating arrangement with the large doors, including the executive table that stows away. As well as we have with the new avionics suite up front, we have music jacks for your passengers and A&R jacks as well as a six place intercom for all four occupants back here. The leather we give a seven. Uh, leather's really in good shape. The overall headliner's in good shape as well. 136 Alpha Alpha has the extended baggage compartment that holds 70 pounds here. So you can see you've got plenty of room back there as well as your intercom jacks for your back two passengers. One of the real nice things about the club seating in an A36 is that you can get the back seats out very, very easily if you have a larger load. Let me show you how easy it is to get them out. One three six Alpha Alpha has dual yokes that I believe in 1984 was the first year that they split them out like this instead of coming out of the center. It gives you a lot more room for all your gauges and things of that. The tip tanks are right here, so you've got your left and right gauges as well as your transfer pump. So you transfer fuel from the left tip tank into the left main, and the right tip tank into the right main. It's got the new style throttle quadrant as well, and you've got factory air as we talked about earlier. And let me just tell you, it is really nice to have in the summertime. I never had one with it, but now that I have, I wouldn't want to leave home without it. So the factory air is right down here. All the other standard features, you got a uh, Davtron control clock right here. You got your autopilot disconnect switch here. This one also has control wheel steering and electric trim. A really nice feature to have. So this custom instrument panel was built and put in in March of 2015. It's got the latest and greatest from Garmin. So it's got a Garmin GTN 750, a Garmin G GMA 340 audio panel that allows you to listen to XM XM uh, radio, you've got music jacks front and rear for your passengers. Uh, it's got a moving map. It's also got ADS-B for traffic. So you're in compliant for ADS-B out by 2020. It's also got your primary function displays or your, or your uh, G500. We talked about earlier that we have a forward looking infrared let me show you exactly how that works. On the G500, there's a video input. You just put it on the aux, and there you go right there. You can go to a full page as well. As you can see how it picked up his heat signature different. Really a cool feature for this airplane. 136 Alpha Alpha has a, a VOR, as well as an airspeed indicator, an attitude indicator, air driven, with a backup vacuum pump, and an altitude indicator. And in 1984, we had the standard new gauges here. So you have your manifold pressure, your RPM, fuel flow, combination EGT and cylinder head temperature, and your oil and temperature pressure. 
We also have a backup radio, which is a KX-155, a very reliable radio. And then we have a GTX-330 transponder. And behind that is the GDL-88 from Garmin that allows you to be ADS-B compliant. You can also look at traffic. So the traffic feature on this thing is really awesome. So it's amazing how much traffic's out there that we never saw. The Garmin GTN 750 is the latest and greatest from Garmin. So once you start flying with this thing, you'll be amazed how easy to work. Let me just go through the simple loading a flight plan and loading a procedure. So flight plan here, add waypoint, let's just say K, Foxtrot, Yankee, Victor, that's Fayetteville. And then let's say we want to load the approach for that. So a waypoint info, airport, Fayetteville. Here's the procedures. So we want to do the RNAV 1.6 GPS. And we do load approach or load and activate. So we can load approach. And you're all set. So it'll also geo-reference and show you the airplane's position on the approach plates. Let me see if I can show you that feature. So you notice on this, we've got the GPS approach to 2.2 for Monroe. And you can see the airplane geo-referenced on the chart. It'll also do this same thing on the G500. So once you get the hang of this, it is really easy to fly. It is just an awesome feature to know situational awareness where you are on the approach path. 136 Alpha Alpha is in 100% compliance with all the ADs issued for this airplane. We also went ahead and replaced the hinge on the rudder AD. So as far as the rudder AD goes on the Bonanzas, this one is in 100% compliance and you do not have to inspect that again. We also have the strobe. You can see the newly installed strobes here. These things are incredibly bright for position awareness at night. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at 136 Alpha Alpha with me. I don't think you'll find a comparably equipped A36 Bonanza with the latest and greatest in avionics, a low time engine, and a low time prop. I've got all the documents and records, log books, everything you need to know. This is my personal airplane. I've been flying it quite a bit. It gets flown regularly. The maintenance has been impeccable. Please call me personally if you have an interest in the plane at 318-547-2621. That's 318-547-2621, Chap Briard. Or you can email me at Chap Briard, B-R-E-A-R-D, at yahoo.com. So that's C-H-A-P-B-R-E-A-R-D at yahoo.com. Thank you so much.